Good morning, everyone. How's everyone doing? Good. This is a beautiful morning. Not as warm as I would like, but we'll take it. It's better than snow, right? I would like to welcome all of you here this morning, BCC faculty, staff, administrators, parents, spouses, children, friends, and of course our graduates to our ESL graduation ceremony class of 2018. Very briefly, I would like to say congratulations to all of you receiving your ESL certificate of completion this morning. Every one of you has shown a lot of courage to venture out and learn the English language. It's not an easy task, and you've done an amazing job. Um, you've, ex you've shown determination to continue through a lot of difficulties for some of you and persevered to finish the program, and so we would like to acknowledge your offers, uh, your efforts, and offer you congratulations for a job very well done. So. <laughs> so that we can start our ceremony, I would like to uh, welcome to the front Professor Carolyn Kenny. She's gonna sing the national anthem for us. I'll ask that you please stand. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the Beautiful, thank you. So before I invite our first guest speaker to say a few words to you, I would like to thank um, a few people that have helped me uh, put this event together. Um, Laura Carlson and the Facility Services for reserving the space and the, the backdrop out there. Uh, Honorato da Costa, I don't think he's in here, but you know, for the help with uh, media services. Um, our food services department for the refreshments that will be served after the ceremony. Ben Gamel, I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly. The video that you're gonna see here in a few minutes, he put it together. So I wanna thank him for, I wanna acknowledge him for that. Uh, Steve Rees over here with video services. Um, John, photography services. Um, Carla Ottoni, and she's our ESL staff associate in New Bedford. Carla is over there. <laughs> Callie Tassier, she's uh, administrative secretary for division one up there. Uh, thank you so very much for all of your help. Again, I couldn't have done this without you. Our teachers, I would like for you to stand to be recognized, please. Our ESL teachers. <laughs> and
And last but not least, our ESL tutors, who we love so much and work so hard. Uh, <laughs> Ron, Ron Catavia and Leonora Saulino. Sylvia Eisner couldn't be here this morning, but I would like to recognize her as well. And uh, Carla is also a tutor in the ESL lab. So thank you all very much for your help. Very much appreciated. Um, so next I would like to invite our Vice President of Academic Affairs, uh, um, Anna Gayat, who will say a few words to our graduates. Good morning, and first of all, congratulations. Um, let me give you a little bit of history of my, myself. You can hear my accent. I'm one of you. I was born in Argentina. And I came to the US to do my PhD in chemistry. And well, I stuck around. Uh, and I'm still trying to remember all of the words of the national anthem because I became a US citizen not too long ago. So it, it's a process. So um, I was thinking when Livia asked me to say a couple of words, I was like, OK, what is so special about an ESL graduation? Why do we have an ESL graduation? Because we don't have a graduation from English or from math. Why from ESL? What makes this program something so unique and so important that we have a graduation? And for me, the key thing is you're not just improving your command of a language. You're learning so much more. You're learning, yes, English. Yes, grammar and vocabulary and all that good stuff. But you're also interacting with a culture that is not the culture where you started. You're moving into a new way of doing things. You are learning the language, but also what goes with the language. Let me tell you, my first week when I came to Amherst, and yes, Kathy Garganta up there, I'm a UMass Amherst graduate, like she is, so we're always talking about that. Um, I arrived in Amherst in the middle of August, and yes, I knew how to speak English, but that's the English that you learn back at home. That is not the same thing that you're going to use here. And it became very clear very soon when the first weekend that I was going to be on campus, they tell me, hey, are you going to come to the teddy bear rally on the common? And I'm like, the what? <laughs> teddy bear, I didn't know what it was. A rally, I thought it was something to do with cars. And at the common, what is a common? Well, soon I learned that a teddy bear was a stuffed animal that we call them stuffed animals. A, a rally was actually just a get together of people that loved teddy bears. And the commons were the main square in Amherst. But in there, they're called the commons because historically, they used to be the common ground where people will go and gather and whatever. So in one sentence, they had lost me three times. <laughs> and that is what ESL is so important for, is the fact that, yes, you're learning words, and you're learning grammar, and you're learning a language, but you're also learning it in context. You're building relationships. You're connecting with your fellow students and with the society and with the environment in which you're going to continue. Whether that continuing means job, family responsibilities, continuing classes at BCC, or the sky's the limit. This is where you start and you go from here. And that is why we have an ESL graduation, because you're moving from something that is giving you a starting point, and then from here you go. So go in whichever direction life takes you. If you're coming back to BCC for your classes, we would love to have you. It's always good to see familiar faces. So this is a place where we would be very happy to continue working with you. But remember where you had that network of people and touch base with them. Because even if you don't come to BCC, these people are still your network. These people that had worked with you for this semester, and I'm not just talking the faculty, your fellow students, they will be there for you. Because you build that relationship with them. And from here, the sky's the limit. So go forward, enjoy life, have a great time, and best wishes to all of you.
<laughs> yes, please come back. Don't forget us. We will always be here for you. I don't know, always is a long time, but we'll, <laughs> we plan on being here for a long time to help you out. Um, so next I would like to invite the Dean of Humanities and Education for Division I, Dean Uli Ryder, to say a few words to you. Good morning, everybody. It's very nice to see you. Um, one of the nice things about my job is that is the situation of my office. My office is right down the hall from Livia's office, which means I see many of you in the hallway. <laughs> and it's very, it, it, it sort of warms my heart to know that, you know, I saw you several semesters ago when you first came, and now I'm seeing you graduate. And it's a wonderful thing to see that. And I'm so happy also that so many of your friends and family were able to come here. I know that, you know, to take part in a program like ESL or, or any program in, in an academic setting requires not just your perseverance, but also the help and the support of your families. That you all have other responsibilities. Somebody was taking care of your children while you were in class. Somebody was helping to make dinner, to pay the bills, to do all that kind of stuff while you were here excuse me, while you were here studying. And so I thank also not just you for all the work you've done, but your families and your friends for supporting you. So I'm wondering if we could give your friends and family a round of support. support. And I also want to echo what Anna and what Livia have said. Please do check in with us wherever you go from here. We hope that you come back to BCC and earn a degree in one of our programs. But if you go somewhere else, if you choose to um, go to work right after this, if you have your family responsibilities and that takes priority for right now, we still hope that you come back and check in with us because we want to know what happens, not just immediately, but in a few years. Where are you? What have you done? And you will see, I think in a little while, that we like having graduates come back and speak to the new class of graduates. Because you are not just your, each other's support, you're also each other's inspiration. You can hear from graduates who have gone on to do some really amazing things, and all of that is at your fingertips. All of that is your possibility as well. So I wish you the best of luck, and thank you so much for being here. Well, now I would like to invite a former student, uh, ESL student, who is, um, I'm so very proud of, Pablo Vadis, is uh, graduating from BCC and the nursing program this year. So, so he is an ESL uh, program alumnus. Uh, class of 2012, and he is going to say a few words of encouragement to you guys, okay? Good morning. Congratulations. One day you're going to speak like that. Okay, can you hear me without the microphone? No? Okay, okay. Just one more. Okay. Okay, good morning again. Congratulations. And you are awesome because I have been there. It is not easy. As echoing so many of them, English is a hard language to learn. Uh, my first sentence that I learned in English was, the book is on the table. <laughs> <laughs> and then you go to the Dunkin', I still scare when I go to Dunkin' Donuts to ask for a sandwich because it's, Egg, cheese, and ham, or ham, egg, cheese. What's the order? <laughs> and worse, it's not, it's on the bagel. But the bagel is, how is, it's, should it should be in the bagel, but it's, okay, but we got it. But forgive me if I make some grammatical, grammatical is, I'm nervous, that's a good excuse, right? Okay, I start at the ESL program BCC in 2011. I finished 2012 going to 
working every day and coming to night classes to make up uh, by an amazing, amazing teacher. I didn't have the privilege to be with you guys, but, but Diane, my inspiration, and she was always there to help not just with the class, but everything else. Because when we got here, we I lost. Um, I am from Brazil. Brazil is a very, God bless you, it's a very young country. America is just 242 years old. Brazil is very similar. It's a very mixed. And I was used to see movies and learn about the US. Of course, when I got here, I saw a completely different reality, especially living in Fall River. Now well, I live in Somerset, but it was completely different. And living, by the way, living in Fall River is a little bit harder for us who are Portuguese speaker because everybody else, especially being a Brazilian, when you stop somebody else, oh, you speak Portuguese and they want to listen our accent in Portuguese. Okay. So, if it was hard for Brazilians to learn, imagine countries that are far away from the American culture, words that have nothing to do with. English language. So, I know we have 33 more speakers to speak, and then I gotta just be faster. And I started, I graduated, and in 2001, my wife, who is sitting there right now, she had a busted brain aneurysm. And that moment, I was at the ER and had no idea what was a brain aneurysm. In the brain, in the brain, brain. see how it does not make sense, We're on and on and at. <laughs> And grad proper prepositions. Okay, so uh, micro microphone. And I just remember the weight of the nurse's hand on my shoulder, saying, "I know, I know." Even not knowing much about things, I, I got the feeling like saying, "Get ready." And then I start to learn. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> and then that the statistics like. 50% of people who has a busted brain aneurysm do not get even alive at the hospital. 25% may have us, after to get to the hospital, have the proper treatment, do not survive. And 24% who survive may have some kind of sequelas or sequelas or however I say that, but problems after that. And my wife is in the 1% that has nothing. My two daughters will. <laughs> those. My, my two daughters, 9 and 14 now, were born and after that, and we are a happy health family. But I think that experience at the ER, what I, I, I saw around, and of course, of course, that was just the beginning of very many times going back to the ER, going back to the Leahy Clinic where she had the open brain surgery and everything was perfect. And God was, God was with us. For sure. And after that, I think the nursing or the medical field inspired me. And I say, I want to be a nurse. Then you will hear people saying, ah, you cannot do that. Uh, I heard one person say, no. A lot of Americans, they try, they study, they cannot get it. Why do you think you can do it? And that was not against me. That was my favor. I say, no, yeah? I'm not going to prove to you that I can do it. I heard people say, no. If you are admitted to the program just because they, have a, they need male nurses. But I said, no, I can do it. And I did it. I came, I learned English, I started to take all the prerequisite classes to, to get in the program. And I was, I just, I only, I said, I want to study nursing at the BCC. I didn't apply to CCRI, I didn't apply to Massasoit. I applied to BCC because that's what I want. And I was accepted for the first time that I applied. And Still, it was an adventure. I, on my last semester, when I came to, to take my final, I said, I need a 72 to pass. I said, that's, that's fine. If I know 50%, I can guess the other 50%. <laughs> 75, boom, didn't work. I came, instead to have a 72, I have a 71. And I failed. <laughs> then I have to go home and face my family say, I failed. Plans to, to move to another state, plans to, to do so many things. I was, I was already registered to UMass for the BSN program, for keep going, and say, so, you know. Back home, 
digest it, and apply for come back. And they came, but I have to wait six months because the two, unless 202, the last semester just happens on the spring. And I gotta wait. I was working with my wife while that didn't while I was waiting. I came back and I finished. Last Monday was my final exam and I got an 80 and I passed. <laughs> I just need a 65, but I got an 80. Great. Uh, my message, my idea, my, my, my goal is do not stop in here. Today is the first step for the rest of your life. Just even the skies are not the limit. Go forward. You can see attorney, whatever you want to be, a doctor, nurse. I'm old and I want to, I'm not going to stop. I'm older over here, I think. But I will not stop. Go after, go. It's not easy. You gotta have to say, no, I'm not going to that birthday party. I gotta stay home studying. I have to, I have to keep my old car. I wanna buy a new one. Over here, so easy to be tempted to those things. No, <coughs> save the money. Work just what you need. This is the most important investment in your lives. That's the only thing that'll take you somewhere else. The rest, nice car, anyone can buy. But this degree, how many guys you know that are doing something else instead of being here, studying? It's a sacrifice, but worth it. It's not easy, but you can do it. For sure you can do it. Go for it. Congratulations. Forgive your mistakes. Thank you. I don't know if I can speak after that. What an inspiration, huh? Um, I'm so very proud of you, Pablo. I remember when you, I first met you when you started in our program and then you just pursued your dreams. You persevered, and now you're a nurse, and you're ready for the world. So congratulations. We're very proud of you. Um, next, I would like to invite uh, Syria Tavares. She's one of our ESL graduates this semester. She is um, our student rep, and she's going to speak on behalf of our graduates today. So Syria. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm a little, little kind of nervous. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, welcome to administrator and staffing and faculty present here today. Thank you for all support. Uh, welcome to a special for my fellow graduates. Congratulations. My name is Sira Tavares. I'm from Kevard. Uh, I am also the one of the students is going to graduate today. Today is a day for a great celebration after the challenge of learning English as a second language at the BCC. Being a mother and work and attend school full time wasn't easy for me. Whatever, I made it so, I did so. We were, we were successful thanks to Livia, thanks to our, our teachers, and to our wonderful tutors. I always went there and to help him in the grammar and the writing. I will share a little bit about the story, went to the tutor. I was in the middle of my test and I was thinking about quit this program because it was really hard for me and I had a problem for writing class. And I, I, I was telling my mom, mommy, I wanna quit, I'm, I won't pass. And I was talking to Diana, my teacher, and Diana said, you can do it. And Caroline pushed me really hard. She told me, you can do it. I said, no, I will quit, I said, no. And I went to the tutor and they helped me for grammar. I know to request students and I did it, guys, I get an A. Whatever, what really helped me was my classmates. My classmates, Ivan, especially Ivan, uh, Elves, Lulusha, I treated them like 
my kids. <laughs> I, am, I am their mother because I always I give them advice. I say, guys, you are guys young. Don't quit the school. School is the only thing. When somebody will bear us, is us. Nobody will take it. Keep your school. I always, they help me a lot. Even sometimes I ask Ivan, I say, Ivan, I have a problem. And can you help me, Elves, Lulusha? They, I had a lot of support for them. And I want to share you a little about story about Ivan. Ivan, I remember one day we came here to the BCC. We tried to get help, more help uh, for financial aid. And after that, we went to the, we went to Dunkin' Donuts. Went to have a coffee or something. And we are, we were talking about family and our country and stuff. And guys, on that moment, I realized the world is so small. Ivan is my son's age. He's over there. And he showed me his father picture. And I said, wow, I know this man. He told me, yeah. I said, yeah. This man, I know. This man, it was my neighbor. He said, yeah, this is my father. I said, really? Yeah. And I remember, I was changing diapers. <laughs> <laughs> And also, I want to share another story. I remember the day I was preparing, preparing to, for writing test. It was, I was at the Quest Lab, and there, was, there were elves in the Lulusha were over there. They were typing, and I was put attention because they were explaining to me how to write and stuff. And elves, I hear elves say, wow, I won $9,000. I said, wow. <laughs> and elves say, and I was in the middle, and, in the program, I say, I, Elves, you want $9,000. And he say, wow, we're going to spirit. I give you, I'm going to buy my car, and I'm going to give you Lulusha some. I give her Ivan son, and give you Sira son. I say, wow, wonder, oh my God. And the tutor was telling me, pay attention. I say, well, I'm sorry, it's a money. It's a money coming up. And there was fraud. And I remember. But also, I want to say thank you to tutor, but I get it. I was distracted, ever was distracting me on that time, but I did it, I get it. And my teacher told me, oh, you passed, you did. I said, oh my God, if I can do it, anyone can do it, guys. It is amazing. I know it's a difficult. When we are parents, we have a children, and also I'm here, my husband's not here. I did all by myself, you can do it. Each one of us, we can do it. Uh, we learned together, that's not change is too big to help each other, and we work together. We don't have to stop. This graduation has already shown us how capable we are to accomplish our goal when we commit ourselves to them. I wish you all good luck in the future, and I hope to see you around the walls of the Bristol Community College. Thank you, everyone. It is a very small world, yes. Congratulations, Syria. We are very proud of you. So before we start giving out the certificates uh, to our graduates, we've prepared, the, we've put a little video together here um, that we would like to share with you, we would like to show you. Good morning and congratulations English as a Second Language graduates. I am so proud of you. You have been very dedicated in growing your skills and knowledge of the English language and that has helped you to do very well in your studies and prepares you to complete your associate degree, even transfer on to a bachelor's degree and go beyond into your graduate studies. The foundation of the English language is so critically important to your success and you have achieved that today. So, I express my heartfelt uh, congratulations to you, the graduates, and also congratulations to the faculty who have enabled you to be successful. Congratulations, and we love that you're here at Bristol Community College. Hello from the ESL Lab. I'm Lee Salino. Very excited that you have completed this program. Congratulations. Hello ESL graduates. Congratulations to all of you who are making it through our ESL program. 
It has been my honor to have you in my classrooms, those of you who I have, and I have learned so much from you. I will keep you forever in my heart, and we look forward to hearing about all of your successes in the future. Good luck. I wish to congratulate all the ESL students who are graduating today. Congratulations, ESL graduates. It has been my pleasure to get to work with many of you, and um, it is your future instructor's luck uh, to have you in their classes. You are the hardest working students, and I know that each one of you will continue to work hard and reach your goals, and that is my greatest wish for you. In addition, for those of you who have had me in class, you know what I will always leave you with at the end of anything I say, and here it is. Follow me. Homework. <laughs> Work hard, be patient, be happy, and most of all, enjoy the journey. Congratulations. Hi ESL students, congratulations on your graduation. I'm so proud of all of you and I've really enjoyed being your teacher this semester and in semesters past. I'm so impressed by the determination and motivation that all of you have, and I know that you're gonna take that out into the world to do awesome things. Best of luck to all of you. Hi graduates, I'm so happy to share such a special moment of graduating from the ESL program here at BCC. Make sure to never give up. This is one step ahead of your academic future. Uh, my warm wishes and prayers with all of you. Come by to the New Bedford office to say hi sometime. Congratulations. Congratulations, ESA graduates. We, we wish you good luck and much success. We are proud of you. Congratulations. Hi, everyone, and congratulations on this great accomplishment of completing the ESL program here at BCC. I know I've only had a few of you in my classes over the course of your time in the program, but I've been amazed over and over again about how hard you work and how committed you are to your studies, knowing how difficult it is to learn English. So whatever your next steps, I wish you the best, and I know you will be successful. Congratulations again. Hi everybody, I would just like to wish you all congratulations today, your graduation day. You've all worked so hard, you have so much to be proud of, and everybody here at BCC is proud of you and your accomplishments. Good luck in whatever your future holds. Congratulations. Hello ESL graduates. I just wanted to say congratulations on finishing your ESL classes. I know that many of you had to juggle work, home, and classes in order to accomplish this goal, but you did it. Congratulations and best wishes in all your future endeavors. It's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right. I hope you at that time of your life. Nice. That was a good one, Jackie. <laughs> so, the time has come for us to give you your uh, certificates. And so, uh, we would like, I would like to invite our teachers to come over here to the front, please. You can bring him, no? Yeah. The future of BCC, right here. Hi, Ollie. Hi, baby. Mommy's right here. So uh, for those of you um, who don't know them, I would like to um, acknowledge our teachers, uh, Carolyn Kenny, Nancy Labont, Diane Manson, Jackie Berry, Anne-Marie Donnelly, 
and Peggy Harrington. You guys rock and roll. You are awesome. Oh, and Sarah, I'm sorry, Sarah Northup. You guys are the best. So let's get this show on the road, shall we? I would like to call Christian Acevedo. Is he here? Some of our students couldn't be here today. So we'll give them their certificate at a different time. Ade Kunle, Ade Yamo. Josie Lane, Alvis Lima, Jocelyn Alvis Lima. Mary Amadla Bava. Irlanda Antunish. Jerges Anwar. Jonathan Benejan. Michelle Camacho is in Puerto Rico, so we'll mail it to her. Yeni Castro is in Colombia, but uh, one of her friends is here. Laura Martinez will receive it on her behalf. Juan Chach Mateo. Yay, yeah, he's here. <laughs> Sabrina Chen. Coronel, Elle's not here. Ana de Pina, Ana's here. Carla de Resendez. Cristiano Diaz, is he here? Elvis dos Santos. No final, quando eu for dar o. Congratulations, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like somebody talked to me and I wasn't paying attention. Lidia dos Santos. We have a lot of graduates this year. Nisac dos Santos. Antonia Fernandes.
Ivan Fonseca. Ramonda Gadala. Victoria Gomez. Catherine Gonzalez. Narla Honore. Fahmida Hussein. Fatima Islam, Oliarasi, Janakiraman, Virginia Jimenez, Azalia Cuilan. Juan Pedro Lepe Galindo. André López. Andrea López. Johan Macea Nunez. Eugenia Macedo. Madeleine Mikael. Walter Moreira. <laughs> Annabella Nisanda. Adriana Parra, Carlos Pepen Mejia, Yen Pham, but her daughter is here. Would you like to receive it on her behalf? No? Monique Meriak. She's here. Alini Pires. <laughs> Karina Pryor. <laughs> We're almost done, babies. Winifer. Reyes, Eunice Ribeiro, Tatiana Rivera Cruz,
Jessica Rodriguez. Genesis Saldana Gutierrez. Johanna Santana Rivera. Walter Santos. Ah, oh, Walter Santos. Nelly da Semido. Jose Severino Gomez. Giseli Shadam. <laughs> Kevin Silva. City at the Varish. <laughs> Shayla Tavares. Her sister? Shayla's not here, so her sister will receive the certificate on Sheila's behalf. Oh, she's watching on. <laughs> Rachel Torres Alvarez. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Jeffrey Tucson. Veronica Vaz. Congratulations. Oh, baby, we're almost done. Lucy V. Eddie Carlos Vieira. Ramesh Yadav. And last but not least, Walter Moreira. Oh, he's here. I already gave you a certificate. Well, I guess I have double. I can already give you. Anyway, so those are a big round of applause to our graduates, class of 2013. I would like to invite um, a guest, uh, one of our students here. She's a graduate uh, from BCC. She is uh, moving on. Um, her name is Mary Rudd. And uh, we have some special awards to give now. 
And while we give out the awards, uh, Mary is going to be playing uh, a couple of beautiful songs. Um, so Mary, you would like to come over here? Mary's a student. She's moving to, uh, transferring to UMass Dartmouth to pursue a degree in um, liberal arts in English. So she's going to sing a couple of songs while we give out the awards. Or she can play and we can enjoy and then we can give out the awards. How about, she's got a beautiful... Whatever you want. Yeah. Wanna say, sing a song for us? Sorry. All right, so um, this song is called I Lived by One Republic, and I just thought it would be appropriate, so. So now we're going to give our special awards, um, some students that stood out for this or that reason over the course of the time that they, the period of time that they were here. Mary's going to play another song in the background because her voice is so pretty. And um, 
So I will um, ask Diane Manson to come up, please. So she's going to give out the awards. And I'll stay on the sidelines. Do you need help? Or um, OK, hello, everybody. I'm very excited to be giving out some special awards. The first award is for Jessica Rodriguez. She is not here, but I just wanted to acknowledge her. She graduated from the ESL program in December, and then she went on to take English 091, which is a combination of reading and writing with native speakers. And her portfolio passed with distinction from the English department, which is a great honor, especially for an ESL student. So let's clap for her, even though she's not. Our next awards, we have two people who have been nominated by their teachers for being the most motivated. These students come to class, work very hard, always with a smile on their face, and the two winners of this award are Juan Chach Mateo and Johanna Santana Rivera, if you'd like to come down. Our next award is for most enthusiastic. Well, we know all ESL students, or most of you, are enthusiastic. But these particular two show great enthusiasm at all times. They always have a smile on their faces. They always like to contribute in class, sometimes very loudly, <laughs> and enthusiastically. And they are enthusiastic in helping their fellow students. And the winners of this, or the awardees, are the envelope, please. Jose Severino Gomez and Eddie Carlos Vieira. <laughs> this award is a special award because it really shows the hard work of this individual. Um, in the beginning of the semester, this student struggled. On the advice of her instructors, she cut back on her work hours and started going to the ESL lab, working a lot with the tutors. And she ended up passing all of her classes. So I would really like to recognize dun, 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 Tatiana Rivera Cruz. <laughs> Most improved. We have a lot of very determined ESL students, but there are two in particular that I want to recognize. Um, these two students went step by step by step through the program. Um, one of them I met first, I think it was his first ESL class, was Intermediate Conversation. And then I had the pleasure of teaching him his last ESL class, which was Advanced Conversation. I don't know, he did everything else in between the two conversations. And the other student I have also had the pleasure of working with in New Bedford, and he was um, nominated by the instructors in New Bedford. So please recognize for most determined, Jonathan Benehan <laughs> and Andre Lopes. We have two awards this 
um, year for leadership. And I just wanted to say leadership can come in different ways. You can have a leader who is very vocal, who always will lead the group, who always will help the teacher or the other students maybe make their PowerPoints, you know, keep everybody on task and lead the crowd. We also have the quiet leader who leads by example, who is always encouraging and offers help to others. So our two awards for leadership are mother and son, Ivan Fonseco and Tati. Syria, <laughs> Syria Tavares. Correction, his name is Fonseca, not Fonseco. <laughs> He's a leader, you know, like I said. Okay. Um, we have four um, uh, da, 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 high academic achievement awards. Okay. I don't think the students are all here, but I will read their names. These are students who have taken all advanced ESL classes and received A's. Okay, and if they took intermediate classes, they also received A's. So these winners are Narla Honore. I don't believe she's here, but let's recognize her. <laughs> Yen Pham. <laughs> On view. And Elvis Dos Santos. <laughs> so congratulations again to everyone. Great job, and um, we're proud of all of you. So I don't have much more to say. This concludes our um, ceremony. I just want to say that I'm so very proud of all of you guys. I can't speak much because then I'm going to start crying. <laughs> so um, you know where we are. You know that we're here to help you with anything and everything you need. So come see us. Don't forget us. We love you very much, and we wish you the best. We know that you're going to do great things in the future. So congratulations. We're very proud of all of you.